morning, y'all. I just got to, to the Walmart, but a couple things. I realized I did my, well, I didn't realize at the time because I'm so used to doing it. I put, I have this filter on in my um, product review last night. So I'm just like, you need to, you need to try. Trust me when the sh I say the shit works, and I think that you could still tell. But when I get home later, I'm gonna um, I'll take off, I'll, I'll put on more makeup, and I'll just take it off without a filter. So sorry for that. Yeah, I'm at the Walmart. Let me tell y'all something. So yesterday when I was in my meeting with Sherry, I got it. I got a voicemail because you know how I was. I was trying to do a good deed and like take clothes to the ministry place, but I ended up throwing all my clothes in the dumpster. Well, and then I told y'all I called, and then the lady was so sweet. When I tell y'all, I love the South. I love, I'm from the North, but I love the South. I love me some Southerners, and this woman, you need to listen to the voicemail. I had called to tell her that I, put my, that I threw my clothes away, and then I, I didn't know what to do from there. But yesterday, and she did not have to do this, she, called, she gave me a follow-up call about my dumpster clothes and I want y'all to listen to it I just cannot her little voice she sounds like somebody who'd be really good at baking pies like she makes a mean apple pie this woman I can just it's a little glass of sweet tea in the summertime hi there this is Sarisa with King Outreach Ministry Thrift Shop I'm hoping this is the lady that I spoke with yesterday that left her clothes in the dumpster I could not reach them to retrieve them but our director helped me get them out this morning so I just want you to rest assured they didn't get they didn't stay in the dumpster we did get them out so don't worry a thing about it we're going through them and we appreciate it so much and we hope you have a blessed day thank you bye bye walmart is right up there with target like impulse buys i'm about to buy a shark pinata and fill it with airplane bottles for the cookout y'all want to know what else i cannot do like i i suck at i got these cute little um crock pots from walmart they're two quart look at them they were 10 bucks but they're perfect for uh like dips and stuff i cannot plan a party i don't know what i'm doing my mind's all over the place i i'm just these are from walmart too but i got these for like little desserts and then put chips like back we got you know the variety of chips put those in the big one and then these are from walmart serving dishes pretty sure it's better homes and gardens but we should probably take care of that before the party have y'all ever heard of kiwi company's maker crates they're super cool so it's a subscription box that delivers a new art and design workshop to your doorstep each month they make them for children so these are excellent for children especially with summertime coming up i'm not sure kids back in school i don't even know um, but if you guys are looking for something for your children to do, get them out of your hair, keep them occupied and keep their brain stimulated. A maker crate is excellent. Um, but they also make them for adults like me. <laughs> I love to craft. It is so relaxing to me. It's like therapy and I'm obsessed with these things. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys everything that's inside. So the maker crate that I got is the punch needle pillow. Love the packaging. We have a quote. Let's see. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Maya Angelou, y'all, my girl. She lived in Winston-Salem, and she did pass away, I think, about five years ago. Rest in peace, Maya. What an amazing woman. Okay. Um, all of the materials needed to make your craft are included. Look at these beautiful colors of yarn. And then it lists everything that you will need to make the craft, and all of these are included in the box. And y'all, it does not matter whether you are a first time crafter or an experienced maker, Kiwi has created each maker crate to provide everybody who's doing it with the chance to learn and experiment and make a project that is uniquely yours. The crafts keep me entertained and honestly, it's just fun. If you guys want to try it out, swipe up, use my code and you will get 30% off of your first month. So is it okay to make my buffalo chicken dip tonight? Like just put it in a bowl and then put it in the refrigerator and then take it out tomorrow and put it in the crock pot tomorrow? Is that okay? I'm also going to make... Oh my God. I got, I got a wiener recipe that'll make your man fall in love with you all over again. 
and I'm sure y'all probably made them before, but one of my specialties, I made them like, I've made them like seven times, I think, are them little wieners, little baby wieners, wrap them in bacon, stick a toothpick in them, put them on a prepared baking sheet, pour brown sugar on them, liberally, just put brown sugar on them, sprinkle a little cayenne pepper, Put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes and then you can broil them just a touch just to get them crispy on top y'all i was so excited about these mini crock pots i think it was just the idea of them that i love so much because they're little babies but i don't even know that these would fit like a can of campbell's chicken noodle and they need to be clean because i'm actually trash i am excited because my recipe actually fit it's chunky because it's you know it's not melted um i'm gonna do that tomorrow but it fit in my two quart crock pot from the walmart there's only 10 bucks and i washed it before i put anything in So I actually started the weenies too. So I just cut my bacon into fourths and then just wrap each piece around a little wiener and then stick the pick toothpick through it like that. I swear to God, I swear to God, Luke takes 45 minute showers. Can't relate. I'm like a military shower. I wash my hair. I go like this, shave up to my knees and then I'm out. Do y'all take long showers? Like, I don't get it. And when I say I'm not, it's at least, I'm not exaggerating, at least he's in there 25 minutes. 45 was an exaggeration. I'm done with my, I'm done preparing my food. I can, I, I'm going to be an event planner. I think I'm going to start, I think I'm starting up my own business. I'm starting event planning. So hire me for your weddings, bar mitzvahs, first holy communion, whatever. I think I'm all set for tomorrow. I mean, there's still some things I gotta do tomorrow. I still gotta go to Lowe's Hardware and get a new umbrella. They took. I told. I tell you, they took my other umbrella back. They didn't even ask questions. No questions asked. They took it back. The one that snapped in half. I had it for a week, and then 80 mile per hour winds came through here, snapped it in half. They took it back. No questions asked. Um, so I think I'm done. Luke is gonna make the burgers tonight. He refused to do pre-made patties. Luke Spong would never. So he's going to do his little seasoning on them, whatever. What he told me, I asked him how many pounds we needed. This is how bad I am at math. I was like, how many people are coming? Or I said, how much meat do we need? He was like, oh, about four pounds. I bought 10 and I bought like 62 buns. I'm not kidding. I'll show you the buns in a moment. Um, but hey, do not forget to enter the restoration hardware giveaway. I'm going to post it. You guys already know the drill. $3,000 we are giving away restoration hardware. But the winner can choose either the Restoration Hardware gift card or $3,000 towards Amazon. Get real. Are you kidding me? Slide the bar, follow all the chicks, the end. Good luck. All right, I have people pissed because I did my product review, my Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm with a filter on. And I get it. I do. I get it. But some of y'all need to calm down in your tone. Don't come at me with that kind of tone, okay? Because you're going to get it right back from me, I promise. All right. No filter. I just put, I put some makeup on. Oh God, I hope this doesn't stop filming. Okay, we're good.
do we see how it has just melted my makeup off? I'll link it again. This has been the look all day. This has been the look. In public, at home, it's been the look. I will link this again. You guys need to buy it. Y'all need to trust me. The best cleansing balm ever. Y'all want to see what this looks like? You already know what this is going to look like whenever I rinse it. You, you don't need to see it. Just buy the shit, okay? So I shared the other night that Dime Beauty has new packaging for their eyelash boost serum. So they're giving you more product and it's in the glass packaging that all their other products come in. So we love that. And love the eyelash boost serum. This strengthens, it conditions, and it keeps your lashes healthy as well as your eyebrows. And as always, you guys use my code MB for 20% for 20 off site-wide plus free shipping on orders over 39 bucks. I also shared the uh, whipped, what is it? The whipped face mask. I gave some to Kayla and she's using, she actually just sent me a picture of herself that I might share with you guys if she loves me. But she's using the mask tonight. So swipe up, use my code MB, just MB, 20% off site-wide, free shipping on orders over 39 bucks.